let's talk about percents. Percents are simply rates that compare a part to a whole. And that whole just happens to be 100. So every percent is a comparison of something to 100. Now the symbol we use for percent is this symbol right here. Now because percents compare parts to wholes, we also know that fractions compare parts to wholes. So we can take any fraction and we can change that fraction to a percent. Now some fractions are easier than others. The best fractions that we can change from fraction to percent form are those fractions whose denominators are factors of 100. So 2, 4, 5, and 10 are all factors of 100. So if I look at this fraction 1 half and I want to change it to a percent, which means a comparison to 100, all I have to think is, what can I multiply that denominator of 2 by to get 100? Well, I know 2 times 50 is 100, and in math, whatever you do on the bottom, you have to do on the top. Therefore, 1 times 50 is 50. The moment we have 50 compared to 100, all I need to do is take that numerator, write it as 50, and I just put that percent symbol behind it. So 1 half is the same as 50%. Now, 3 fourths is also equally easy to do because 4 can go into 100 by multiplying by 25. But if you do it on the bottom, you do it on the top. So 3 times 25 is 75. All I do is take that numerator of 75, attach that percent symbol to the end. So 3 fourths is the same as 75%. So we can do that with fifths and tenths just as easily. Now, we can also model percents fairly easily because we have a model that is a hundreds grid. And because a, a percent compares things to a hundred, all I have to do is count how many sections are colored in, and that would be compared to a hundred. So here I have 14 out of the hundred colored, therefore that represents 14%. Now, because we can take our fractions and change them to percents, sometimes our models will be looking like fractions. So here I have one square colored in out of the five. Well, in order to know the percent, I can take that one-fifth and change it into 20 hundredths by using the same method we used over here, and I know that would then be 20%. The other thing I can do is check, because if I go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I have just the 20% colored in, so that is a reflection of a model with the fraction and the percent. Now, where do we use percents? Well, mostly we use them with application problems. So, this is a really nice one because I see this line here, and if you measure between A and B, you see that's three inches. And you might get a question like this. Well, if line AB represents 50%, what is the length of a line segment that is 100%? Well, 50% means half, so if I want to go to 100%, I'm going to have to double that. The other way you can think of this is 50% to 100% is times 2. So whatever the length is, which is 3 inches, if I also multiply by 2, that should tell me my 100%. So 100% of this line segment would be 6 inches. Now we can go the reverse direction as well. So if we had the question, if AB is 300%, what is the length that is 100%? Well, that means we're going to shrink this down by thirds. Well, if I'm going to go from 300% down to 100%, I have to divide by 3. And if I do that here, then I'm going to take that measurement of 3 and divide it by 3. Therefore, 100% of the line segment would be 1 inch. So that's kind of a, a, a picture of how we use percents. Uh, I think now it's probably up to you to see what you guys can do. Good luck today and have some fun with it.